Kia ora, you're watching Endzone, a band who have been doing very well for themselves on radio around the country. You may have heard their song most recently, Fight For Me, a miscreant. Chris and Damo, welcome. How's it going? Thanks for having us. How's it? Good to have you here. Now, uh, tell us about uh, Fight For Me, because it's the, the latest single uh, off the forthcoming album, Complicated Characters. Uh, what's it about? Basically, uh, I was sitting there thinking about all these uh, people that, that sort of basically uh, hurt each other and whatnot in the name of a higher power, which I always found rather contradictory, so I, I started thinking about it and uh, basically pinned, pinned uh, Fight For Me, yeah, so I'll leave it at that. don't like getting too far into it, let people uh, make up their own mind about it and whatnot. But yeah, oh, you, get, well. you get, the, get the basic <laughs> idea. Because um, that, that is kind of alluded to, perhaps, with the cover art on the album. It is, yeah. the album, the uh, single. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. There's a, a religious element to it, like, uh, yeah, just, basically, we're just trying to make people have a look at it as to, uh, you know, is there actually a justifiable reason to to harm others in the name of a greater power, even though, you know, whatever you've been taught previously, you know. Basically, have a think for yourself, and obviously it never really makes sense. I suppose if you were to look at it, you could, um, you know, perhaps uh, say, you know, governments around the world, you know, in, in a similar light, you know. You could, yeah, definitely, yeah. I think yeah, any higher power, really, yeah, whether it be governments or religious or otherwise, yeah, definitely there is uh, different similarities here, parallels, shall we say. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose it's, um, you know, when you, when you dig a little bit deeper, you know, people are very passionate and, and uh, perhaps it's... Um, through, through lack of, of other knowledge, you know, it could be ignorance. It is, yeah. People get so passionate that they almost get blinded by it a lot of the time, you know, I feel. And, uh, you know, even though you, you've got to ask yourself who, who's telling you that, who's teaching these people that, that they follow it so blindly. And uh, it really, when you have a look at who it actually is, it's sort of, yeah, that's why. This, hence the song, really, it's stupid. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason for it. Good to um, you know see that you're actually going straight in there and going out with a really you know quite a quite a full-on message I suppose, um, but you know you're not like mucking around. Nah, nah, you go straight forward as you do. <laughs> so the material for complicated characters, and um, this is the album which is going to be out in what, a couple of months. Yeah, a couple of months we're looking at. Yeah, uh, should be getting pressed uh, within the next month, and then uh, we'll have a few few chats to some dis distributors and uh, yeah, get it out there. Cool. And how long have you guys been writing that for? Ooh, about four years. <laughs> yeah, a good couple of years, though. We've spent a lot of time uh, pre-production, um, working on the album. We wanted to make sure we did it right, so a lot of time, probably six months in the studio as well, doing all the recording, so... Wow. Yeah. Whereabouts did you record it? Uh, Studio 203 with uh, Andrew Buckton yep. and uh, Benny on Engineer as well. Uh, fantastic place, by the way. Yeah, really, really good creative atmosphere there and a really, really nice guy. Brilliant guy. Yeah, so it was a lot of fun. So the album title, Complicated Characters, is that, um, you know, would you say that's a sort of a fair uh, description of, of who you guys are? I think so. Yeah, individually we're all quite different. We always have been. And, um, yeah, complicated is probably probably one of the descriptions among the many that we've had of ourselves. But um, no, nah, that's also a track on the album which which I loved. It's a big five and a half minute epic with uh, just thousands of bloody tracks and everything. And it's it's a really cool song, and I think uh, it, it does the album justice to to sort of title it after that. Mm. Now, ballsy rock um, would be kind of one way I'd, I'd choose to describe um, your sound, but there are many people out there that are watching probably have not heard you before, have not heard of Miss Grant. Like, how would you describe kind of what it is that you guys do? No, I suppose if grunge was mis mixed with funk, you'd probably get a, uh, a pretty good idea of it, you know. We always tried to stretch ourselves, really, didn't we, and, and not, not tr well, basically not make two songs that sound similar on the album. We wanted to keep... Within a similar vein, we wanted to keep people interested throughout the whole album, which uh, I've always found is, is a good album. journey, isn't it, really? Yeah. From a start to a finish, so, yeah. A concept album. <laughs> oh, not quite. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> putting words in your mouth now. <laughs> <laughs> we write as we fight in your name The symphonic game With no one to blame Every day there's a new way on time Time in the name of you. 
So um, all in all, are you fin uh, happy with the, the finished product, or well, you know, what is soon to be the finished product um, for complicated characters? Extremely, extremely happy with it, yeah. I, I don't think we could have made a, uh, a better album with, with you know, where we are at the moment. It's been a, a hell of a journey, and it's great to kick back, you know, and listen to the 14 tracks and go, that's, that's fantastic. I mean, initially when we first listened to it, we, it's, it's hard to believe that it's you, because it's, you know, great production and everything's fantastic, and you sort of kick back and go, doesn't even sound like that, you know? <laughs> so, um... You guys actually can go out and uh, buy some of the material, can't you, from that buy, is that right? Yeah, you can, yeah. There's uh, four tracks on there at the moment uh, that, that you can go and purchase and also have a look at the videos that are out on YouTube and whatnot and Amplifier as well at the moment. So, uh, yeah. It's Amplifier.co.nz. That's the one, yeah. And yeah, what tracks are available for, for purchase? Uh, we've got Unfaithful, Riot, Fight For Me and... Maybe just the three. Oh, so <laughs> and Hey Mister, of course, yeah, that's it. That's what... So that'll leave you with like another 10 tracks on the album. Was it a 14 track album? Yeah, 14 track, yeah, another 10 there, undiscovered. Right. <laughs> and um, like, what's happening in sort of in, you know, the, the pipeline? Are you going to have a few gigs around the time of release, would you say? Yeah, we will definitely, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm away in Europe for the next month, so everything's sort of on hold for the moment. But uh, as soon as I get back, we're tucking straight back into it again. So, uh, yeah. We've got a second music video that we're looking at working on as well, so um, that's sort of in the pipeline at the moment so hopefully you get that out there then release the album so should be some more stuff coming out very soon and also if people want to hear um, the tracks a little bit more on the radio they can they can do that by uh, getting in touch with people like the rock and the edge yeah? yep yep all of the above and i think there's 12 other throughout throughout new zealand that are, that are playing them at the moment but uh if you go to the myspace uh, forward slash mis miscreant music it's all there and you can see who's playing what and uh, where to request in your area Chris and Damo from Miss Korean, thank you so much for joining me today on Enzo. Pleasure. And uh, yep. we're going to check out the video. It's called Fight For Me. Awesome. Go to Enzo.